Hello my lovely, lovely viewers, I am your host Supertainment and today I bring you episode 8, episode 8 of Seahawks Franchise, otherwise known as Pete Carroll Connected Careers. <laughs> so, uh, just a quick look at some of the top stories and I think, I think Madden's trolling us on this one, all eyes on Pooh. Come on now Madden, you're gonna, you're gonna give us that. UCF quarterback Pooh Carlson. Oh my god. If he gets drafted in the first round, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Uh, then we got New Day, New Starter. Doug Martin will get the snaps. LeGarrette Blunt sitting on the bench. Randy Starks, five years, 26.3 million. He deserves it because he's a very, very good player. Bears and Brian Erlacher. Ooh, four years, 32 million. Looks like he'll be here in the league for a little while still. Robert Mathis gets a five-year 45 mil. Mark Barron takes center stage in week two. Oh, wow. The Bucks are just, they're really, uh, they're doing their thing. Sideline to sideline. Wow, the AFC Defensive Player of the Week, Kaluka Maiva? No idea. Uh, LeGarrette Blunt is an Offensive Player of the Week, and he gets benched in the same week? That makes no sense. Joe Flacco gets AFC Offensive Player. And, wow, interesting stuff here. Interesting stuff. Uh, no news about us. The Golden Tate. That's right, we're getting Golden Tate back this week. Hopefully it'll make a difference. Hopefully. I don't see that Randy Moss was born to catch pass in the NFL. He's moving beyond Tim Brown. Wow, good for him. Good for him. Anyway, let's move on here because <laughs> these stories are just not that interesting. Anyway, look at this. Swagster. Mr. Grey Goose, chilling, getting ready to play another big game. And I went ahead and played the practice, and I earned a 1,000 XP for it, and I completed it. So, that happened. Also, I changed the depth chart up a little bit. Based on what happened last game, eh, last game, wow, last game. So, obviously, we're still sticking with Russell Wilson here. We're, we're, sticking, we're sticking with him. We're sticking with him. Uh, so are we with Marshawn Lynch? I think that that trade block has lit a fire under his ass, and he's ready to play for real now. Here's something I thought was funny. Marshawn Lynch is a better fullback than our fullback. Anyone find that odd? <laughs> and here, a uh, wide receiver. I knew Golden Tate was coming back. So, I went ahead and put Braylon Edwards behind Ricard Ricardo Lockett. This Ricardo Lockett has impressed me more than any receiver on this team. And frankly, I don't know why I don't have him up here with Golden Tate. Because he is just, he is, he is a very impressive individual. And that's really all the changes that were made this week, other than uh, just backups. So, uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and get going on to the game here. Uh, if you want to take a look at the team goals real quick, we've made a little bit of progress. But not too much. So, you know, he's only got 114. That, that, <clears throat> 1600 isn't really looking all that feasible anymore. Earl Thomas, no interceptions. Alan Branch, no tackles. Mabane has two tackles, so I, I could see him hitting that 30. You know, uh, Chancellor, no picks, no picks. It's just wow. One tackle for Leroy Hill. He's not getting that 115. Uh, Michael Robinson, he's not going to get that 2400. Nope. Uh, but there's a few guys here. Like, maybe Jason Jones could get his 15. And then Zach Miller, I could see him getting 85 catches. And how about Russell Wilson? I could see him getting 30 touchdowns this year, depending on who we play. And then, yeah. And then maybe Bobby Wagner can get 100 tackles. So, uh, we still have some stuff that we can earn here. And um, I, I was thinking about taking a look at what I could buy for... Pete Carroll, but I don't think there's anything worth it here. Let's take a look. Let's just, uh, yeah, right tackle, strong safety. Nah. See, this is all retirement stuff. I, I want, I want some good stuff. I'm not really into all this free agency. I guess we could use some free agency stuff. Let's see. Who do we need in free agency? <clears throat> yeah, see, there's nothing here. Uh, center, I suppose. Max Unger is pretty good, though, so 
Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're just gonna keep on collecting that XP until we can get something, some big, something big, basically. But anyway, let's take a look at who we're playing today, and we're playing the Green Bay Packers. And if you guys don't remember, this was the game where Golden Tate managed to catch, quote unquote, uh, the winning touchdown, and uh, surprise the entire world, thanks to the uh, referees. But anyway, let's take a look here at the matchup. They're for CJ, we're for CJD. Mmm, that's not good. They're 2-0, oh, we're 1-1. One one. Another cross-off for them. Second ranked offense. 32nd ranked offense for us. Then they got the 6th ranked defense, but luckily we have the 1st ranked defense. So, hopefully we can pull something together here. You know? Maybe we can pull something out. Uh, also make sure to stay tuned after the game because we're going to progress the players and do a little bit of scouting. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get to the game, guys. I will see you on the other side. Welcome back to the other side, guys. Here at Century Link Field, we're playing some prime time football. Look, look, look at the former MVP posing like he's good. Okay, so here's the coin toss, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just chose to receive. I'm normally a kicker, but I chose to receive. I think it's about time I take action. Let's take a look at Russell Wilson's stats. Those aren't quite bad. Now, right off the bat, second and nine, Russell Wilson steps back, and who does he find? Ricardo Lockett on the sideline for a nice 16-yard gain. Now it's third and eight. Russell Wilson's looking, looking, and he's going deep to Zach Miller. Caught it over the middle. 34 yards on the play. Now it's first and ten. Oh, Russell Wilson hands it off. Marshawn Lynch, you playing for them Skittles, homie? <laughs> Gets a very good amount of yards on the play. Now it's third and one. The pass is to our fullback, and he makes the catch. Russell Wilson's 4 for 5 for 60 yards, and now he has a rushing touchdown. Score is 7 nothing after a beautiful drive. And here comes the, the champ himself, the self-proclaimed champ. Nine touchdowns, four interceptions, almost 700 yards. First down, though, he steps back, and this is why he was the MVP. Finds Greg Jennings and just drops it in there for 17 yards. Now it's second and nine. He steps back, and he looks, and he finds Mr. Jordy Nelson, 14 yards on the play. Now it's first and ten again, and what? What's going on? What's going on, defense? You can't stop Greg Jennings? Gets another first down, and this is he's just tearing us apart. First and ten, though, he steps back, and oh, almost gets sacked. But, but he's perfect. Oh, and he finally gets sacked by Allen Branch for his first tackle and first sack of the year. Now it's third and five. Rodgers is looking. He has all day. He breaks a sack. And it's dropped by Cedric Benson. So they have to settle for the field goal. And the score is 7-3. to three. Ooh, caught a break there. Now it's second and eight. The handoff is to Marshawn Lynch. Running out of time here, but he is taking down the sideline. He gets almost 30 yards on the play, but the clock's ticking. We have 48 seconds left in the half. It's third and nine. Russell Wilson's looking, and oh, almost intercepted. So we decide to punt it away, and the only reason I'm showing you this punt is because look at where it lands. At the two-yard line. That is just fantastic. Now in third and five from their own goal line, we make the stop and get the ball back. Hopefully we can do something with that time. We have five seconds left. Maybe I can throw it up for a Hail Mary. Oh, no. Get sacked. And that is the half. Now coming back out, it's second and three. Aaron Rodgers is stepping back. He's looking. And it's almost intercepted by Brandon Browner. What are you doing? Third and three. He's looking again. He's going deep. And, oh, Earl Thomas just... Just make that interception. Second and three, our ball again, though. And Marshawn Lentz gets a first down. He's running like another. Just He's just running. He's running. Now third and 13, Russell Wilson's looking. He finds Ricardo Lockett. Lucy, I'm home. For the touchdown. The score is 14 to three, and now we have a very strong advantage. But he's coming back hard. Jordan Nelson makes a catch. And now it's third and one. Up. Uh, can't make the stop. Donald Driver makes the catch. Just eight yards on the play. And he's just, he's driving. Second and two. Donald Driver again. He has his foot on the gas pedal. Nothing we can do about it. First and ten. He's looking. He's looking. He finally, no he doesn't. Greg Jennings makes the catch. And Aaron Rodgers is invincible. 
Second and goal, Aaron Rodgers finds Jordy Nelson. I'm kidding, of course. It's Greg Jennings again. Gets a touchdown and go for a two-point conversion, and they make it a three-point game with Jordy Nelson. So scores 14 to 11. I have to run the clock out. Marshawn Lynch gets a first down. They call a timeout. They only have two left. We have to run the clock. Second and nine. Marshawn Lynch, he gets the first down again. And now they're forced to call their last timeout. But somehow, time was still on the... Oh, Golden Tate, you got to make that catch, man. So now we have to repunt it away. They have 51 seconds to make a comeback drive. First and 10, Rodgers finds Benson over the middle. Gets eight yards on the play. This isn't good. 38 seconds left. Third and two, Rodgers is looking. And he finally, finally, finally gets sacked without dodging a tackle. So now fourth and nine, they have to make this happen or else the game's over. And Brandon Browner bats it away. And that is the game. And just for some insurance and stat buffing, I went ahead and kicked the field goal to make the final score 17-11 to Seattle. And the after game stuff got cut out. So here are the stats. 109.3 rating, 6 for 12. Oof. Uh, touchdown and pretty good yardage. Pretty good yardage. Rushing 15 for 87. That's not bad. I think we got Marshawn Lynch back on his train. And, of course, Russell Wilson had the touchdown. Zach Miller, two receptions, 40 yards. Ricardo Lockett, I love him. Two receptions, 68 yards, and a touchdown. We got a couple of pancakes here. And James Carpenter off his injury. Gives up a sack. And then uh, we'll take a look at our team sacks. We got Jason Jones continuing his uh, process. And Allen Branch gets his first tackle and sack of the year. Now here we are at the purchase upgrades. I got KJ Wright some man coverage, Ricardo Lockett toughness, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get him some catching traffic because he kind of needs it. You know, just saying. <laughs> uh, next we have Heath Farewell. Just give him some man coverage. And uh, toughness. Toughness. Let's give him some toughness too. Why not? Backup middle linebacker. Evan Morgan, pass block upgrade, and then a run block upgrade because, hell, why not? Jason Jones, we got to give him a double finesse here because he is just he's lacking in that category. Give him another finesse. Uh, then we got, who else? I don't know. Who, I don't know. Who, who should I? Clint McDonald. Let's go with Clinton McDonald. Uh, he could use... Hard to say. He's a, he's a pretty slow guy. Let's go with play recognition. And, oh, finesse too. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, next we have Brandon Browner. Go ahead and give him a tackle upgrade. Jeremy Lane. Give him an awareness upgrade. And uh, do we have some extra here? Play recognition too. Give that to the rookie. Uh, Brino Giamonachini. Give him a pass block. And Marshawn Lynch. Elusiveness. Matt Flynn. Awareness. And, meh, yeah. Let's just go ahead and move on. I don't think there's anyone else here. I'm going to save up some more points for the center there. Maybe get him a little something special. But, yeah. Let's take a look at a couple of our milestones and weekly goals we got here. Uh, wow, look at that. Zero team interceptions. 550 XP. Uh, 100 XP for 200 yards or less. And 100 XP for 200 yards or less. That, that's weird. Wow. Okay, so let's do some scouting real quick. And, um, I don't know. I think I got my first and third round guys pretty much selected. So, uh, I'm thinking we need a cornerback maybe. Yeah, let's go with the cornerback. Um, all these guys are just like, look at all these first round guys. Jeez. I, I'm never going to be able to get them unless I trade up, which I don't even know if we can do that in uh, this type of game mode. But, um... Why not take a look at a third round guy, second round guy, second round guy, I'm not, I'm sorry, not third round. Anthony Gaynor, 6'2", he looks like he's pretty tall, pretty good. I'm going to not do the overall, I'm going to take a look at some of his uh, inner stuff here. Let's take a look first at the speed, A, ooh, that's good, that's good. Uh, man coverage, C, meh, play recognition, we got um, a C, yeah. Uh, tackle F. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, confidence, we're going to get three. Wow. Predictability. Okay, let's check high motor. No. Clutch, no. Big hitter, no. Play ball bounce. Okay. Um, wow. This guy, he, he needs some work, but he has he has the tangibles there. Check out zone coverage B. Ugh. 
that's that's not good at all. Um, let's take a look at his durability. Yeah, no, intangible. D. Oh man, his intangibles are not good, and that is not good at all. So um, yeah, that, that's a scouting for this guy. Um, I'm thinking maybe we can we can try and go for him. Uh, let's take a look at a couple of other uh, people we've scouted here. So let's see uh, how this all plays out. Tim Bell, we can get him in the third round. Uh, we need to get our left tackle, our blind side, in the first round, though. Hopefully we can get uh, that draft order, and maybe we can get these guys. But anyway, guys, uh, that's really just about it. Uh, I, I had fun. The Grey Goose, he got his win. The Grey Goose, now we're 2-1. and one. And hopefully we'll be going on and getting another one next week. Anyway, guys, I will see you later. Peace out.